will be walking in. E24.com, proud sponsor of the Armed Glo- Radio Global Network. Welcome back, Joe Huggins, Huggy Bear Huggins, and Matt Hazley on the uh, Ring Central Celebrity Hotline. Talking NFL picks. We're in week 15. We're about halfway through. We got Houston and the Colts. Colts. Oh. Yeah, you got to go with the Colts, man. What they did to the Browns last weekend was was criminal and awesome. <laughs> JD JD's a bad bad mo, but I'm telling you, dude, that was a friggin' game. I was pulling for the Browns, obviously, because I picked the Browns, but that was just a fun game to watch. And I got to go. Colts I got to fighters. They're fighters. They are fighters. I will give them that. For well, sure. Well, I tell you, Andrew Luck is a first-round pick quarterback. Is one of the few, one of the very few. Uh, the only other one I can think of that got picked second actually was uh, Peyton Manning, and he's he's the real deal. I mean, he's going to take the Colts to the Super Bowl. And he's going to win a lot of Super Bowls. They need to build a team around him. They need to get him a run game. They need to get him a good offensive line, and then they they need to build a team around that man. He is a, a leader. And he's getting it. The Colts aren't as good as they're playing. Let's put it this way. If it were any other quarterback <laughs> than Andrew Luck, they would not be having the season they're having. He is. Oh, yeah, their, def- their defense is suspect. I'd say they need to work on defense more than anything. And, and, and maybe pick up. But even, for sure. The running even, game's not isn't that bad. Isn't that bad. And but even they, their they defense. They do a good job of passing out of it and running. But their, sec- their secondary and their linebackers are awful right now. They're they're so banged up and have so many injuries that the middle of the field's open all day when against them. But their sure. defense is even inspired by luck. Oh yeah, no, I mean he motivates them. I'm just saying when it comes down to, to raw skill talent, it's like the Cowboys. Like the Cowboys are playing good defense, but when it comes down to brass tacks, if those are going to be your starting corners. And those are going to be your starting linebackers. Like you miss Lee, you miss Durant. Like you can't say you don't miss those guys. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Because their ability outweighs. I mean, at some point, ability has something to do with it. Is all I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but they're playing above their level right now. They'll well, be, look a, at they'll Andrew, be a- Andrew Luck, and then look at uh, Jadavian Clowney out till next year, sometime September, October, November. They said yep. with knee surgery. So that's a. Another good been, example of uh, so many big injuries lately too. Well, number one picks are the the average, the percentage of number one overall number one picks that come to the league and actually do anything worthwhile is very low. You got about a one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You got about yeah, a one in twenty yeah. shot that they're going to be a, a an Andrew Luck. Yeah, we we had we had a was it Heisman Trophy winner first round draft pick uh, uh, Rasham Salam. The Bears picked him. He, nothing. Oh, yeah. he, you know what he said after he was out of the league? Yeah, he goes, I I, I uh, couldn't hold on to the football because I got high before every game. Yeah. It's like, what? Yeah, well, he got all that money. He's like, who cares, you know? Well, but with Clowney, Clowney had micro-fractured knee surgery, which is the same thing that Greg Oden had. Oh, yeah. That that's problem a killer. Killer. Yeah, it's the same thing. that It's a different break, but micro-fracture surgery is what Yao Ming had in his feet. So that's a that's a big deal. Like this could be. I mean, people have come back from it. Like Jason Kidd came back from it. You've seen people. People have come back. Amari Stoudemire. It's gonna it's, it's gonna a, hurt his an, his first step yeah. though. Yeah. It's, it's an even shorter list on people who've come back from micro fracture knee surgery but than Clowney, it is number one number one freak, overall though. pick. Nah, but Clowney's got his money. So you know. He, but also, well, yeah, Clowney's he's got his money. He's got his mean, money. But I mean, now you're you're deviling into that bus territory. If he can't come back. Be what he was supposed to be, this transcendence player. That's yeah, a big a, deal. Yeah, yeah. For, that's a big deal for the for the Brown or for the Texans later on down the road. Uh, sure you know, you, you got, I wonder how many what the kind of insurance policies these guys have on themselves. Oh man, I'd get one. To, if I'm making that kind of money, at least a couple of mil. Troy <laughs> Polamalu has a million dollar hair po- uh, insurance policy on his hair. Yeah. All right, <laughs> you Oakland. Know, you know uh, golfers. Uh, oh God, what's his name? He got a ten million dollar policy on him. He hurt his back. And if he plays at all, it voids the policy. So he could leave right now, retire with ten million bucks, or play. Or I'm play. Like, okay. All right. Oakland is is the magic real. I know. It's Oakland at Kansas City. Mm-hmm. Chiefs. 
Yeah, Chiefs, then, are, Chiefs are playing good. Lightning's not going to strike twice. <laughs> it's not gonna, <laughs> yeah, the hey, Chiefs hey, are. Chiefs are. Chiefs are looking really good, man. Don't, well, the don't Chiefs are. The Chiefs. the Chiefs are a team that are on their way up, and oh yeah, and the Forty ers are actually they're a team on their way down. They peaked out when they went to the Super Bowl and lost. So, and Jim Harbaugh is going to be in Michigan next year. Oh yeah, I hope so. I hope for God. Okay, Miami at Chiefs New Raiders. England. It's Chiefs Raiders. Yeah, Oakland and Kansas City. Oh, I thought you were talking about 49ers. No, the Chiefs are on the way up like the 49ers are on the way down. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Now I got you. Okay, try to keep up. Try to keep up. You got an alien probe in here or whatever? (laughs) Yeah, I hope Joe's listening. Hey, the ass wipes aren't on speaker. Joe. <laughs> Could make the meeting. He was not, probably out to some fancy. Not you, Huggy. Man. Well, Joe, you know, he's, he's big. I mean, he's a big man. You know, he's got his entourage. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot to move that many people, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like a logistical it's, problem when you got to move anywhere. Cause you gotta, it's hard to tell everybody to do everything for exactly. you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, definitely. Especially when they're your friends. And then, do, and then do it all inside. Oh, we're just busting Joe's chops, man. He's a good guy. <laughs> He's uh he's he's got a little girl and this is getting Christmas time so oh yeah you know obviously and uh, when I joined Armed his little girl was born that's how long I've been in Armed uh, I think she's going on three years old now she's a cutie pie and if I oh, and to yeah. tell you the truth if I were a dad and I had a little three year old girl that had me wrapped around her finger I'd, screw you guys man I'm going <laughs> I'm gonna go do stuff with the family yep. <laughs> all right Miami at New England. Miami's dangerous. They are dangerous. Miami's dangerous, but New England's got the second. Every time I pick, down. every time I pick the Dolphins, they lose. So, so I'm going with New England. All right, I'm going to I'm going to jump on. I I just don't have enough confidence uh, in the Dolphins. Even though this, if if the Dolphins do pull this out, I will not be surprised. That, let me put it that way. I'm going to pick the Patriots because that statistically that has, that's the best chance of winning. But if Miami wins this game, I will not be surprised. Not like I'm surprised over Oakland beating San Francisco last week. See, and the only problem that we're in this game that worries me about Miami is they lack the skill players on the outside to break away from Browner, from Arrington, and from Revis. Otherwise, I'd probably take Miami. But they really, like outside of Mike Wallace, they really don't have anybody that can create separation on those guys. So they're going to lock them up man-to-man. And Tannehill is going to look for Tannehill to get hit quite a bit in this game because they don't have any separation on the outside, so they'll just load the box with extra people, and it'll be a rough game. Then rush them. Yep. All right, Washington Redskins with RG three starting at quarterback against the New York Giants, who just came off a big win. Giants. I'm going to go with the Giants in this one too. I picked an upset. I went with Redskins. Well, it'll be the Redskins if they yank RG3, which I think is going to happen, and put in Colt McCoy. If they pull, if they pull, let me put it this way. If they pull RG3 in the first half with time to play in the first half, they'll win. If they let RG3 go all the way to the third quarter till it can't be, the, the game's just out of hand and it can't be saved and they put McCoy in, then it's going to be the Giants. But but the problem with Washington is RG three. I'm going to tell you right now. It's that's that's the oil in the water, right now. Uh, and until they figure that out, until but you know, as an owner, I spend that kind of money. It, that's a hard trigger to pull, man. Well, that's you saw how many people they take. sent out last game in the Rams the game. Whenever they sent out all the players that got uh, in picks for Robert Griffin, it was like seven people, like legitimate players that contribute to every single game. Yep. They sent out seven people as the captains. Yep. Against the Redskins. I was just like, it's just baffling to me. Yeah. Uh, Denver at San Diego. This is going to be a good game. Uh, uh, Denver. I'm going to go with the Chargers at home. Yeah, I'm going Chargers. I know the Broncos are going to be in the NFC playoff. Uh, they're going to be in the NFC championship, but I think they dropped this one. And they've got rooms. They got games to spare. So uh, the Chargers are also going to be a playoff team. Uh, New York Jets at Tennessee. New York almost pulled it off last week. Jets. It went to overtime. 
Yeah, I think the defense is the difference in this game. That's going to be Jets. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Jets, too, and Jeremy Curley. You know, my other connection with the Jets is my dad's next-door neighbor and a, a gentleman who I grew up with. Uh, I knew him uh, from when I was just a little kid when he came to Petoskey to coach with my dad as an, as the offensive coach, uh, as a gentleman by the name of Mark Smolinski. And if you look at the old NFL films of Super Bowl three, he's number 30. Mark Smolinski played for the New York Jets. So that's my two connections with the Jets. Mark Smolinski was my coach in high school, and Jeremy Curley played quarterback for the Hutto Hippos in 2005, took us all the way to the state championship game. So I almost got to pick the Jets just out of, you know, that's it's, I get, it's too many connections here. <laughs> no chain. Uh, Minnesota at Detroit, Lions. 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 <laughs> Lions. <laughs> but this is the game that the Lions will lose. I'll tell you now, if they lose, uh, I, I'm not going to be surprised. San Francisco at Seattle Seahawks. Oh, yeah, Seattle. Seahawks. Oh, yeah, that's going to be bad. That's gonna they're be... looking really good now. They're really get, They're starting to just... Yeah, well, they're getting their legs. Yep, they're starting to get jive. Everything's going together. Yeah, they're getting their legs back. You know, when you're the Super Bowl champs, every game you play coming out the gate the next game, when you're defending the next season, when you're defending Super Bowl champs, everybody's ready for you. Oh, everybody. Yeah. Everybody is up for your game. <laughs> it could be the Titans. They're playing you the hardest because you're the Super Bowl champs. That's right. Yep. So that took them a while to adjust to that. It's hard to repeat. I don't see him repeating this year. I think it's going to be the Packers. If I had to call it early, I'd, I'd uh, on the NFC side, I'd call the Packers. However, the storyline I would love to see, and it would be so freaking funny, is if a 5-11 and 11 New Orleans division leader wins it. Yeah, wins it all. Wins it all. That's it. I will be. I ex- love to see that monkey wrench. Static. Just to piss everybody. Oh out. my god, that would well, be a great story. Well, you know, with with Green Bay, we've seen it before. Really, really, like the past three years, really, really, really good offense, losing playoff games at home. We've seen it. Saints, 49ers, We've seen them lose. Be really, really good offense, like they are right now, and lose on playoff games. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying it. I mean, I'd say they're my pick to win the Super Bowl too. They look the best. Aaron Rodgers is playing the best football, but I've seen this before. I mean, all, everything. Yeah. yeah, everything right now looks like Green Bay is on. I mean, they got the momentum. You're right. Uh, I'm just saying it would be freaking cool as hell. Cause there's only one 500 uh, wild card non division winner. All, all those things together. 500 record, non-division winner, and wild card played all their playoff games and the Super Bowl away, no games at home, and won. You know who that was? Was that... 1984 oh. Los Angeles Raiders. 83 oh, okay. Raiders that won the 84 Super Bowl. Oh, okay. Yeah, you said won the division, but yeah, okay. No, no, they lost so, the division. They were horrible. They they were actually the they were they got in in a 500 record. That's back when they played 14 games. So they were seven and seven, <laughs> seven and seven. <laughs> went on well, the road. The win team was nine and seven Giants when they won their first Super Bowl. They yeah, yeah. Won the division, but they were nine and seven. But they were nine and seven. These guys were five hundred. Yeah. <laughs> five hundred. And that would be great if an under five hundred team won the Super Bowl. I would just be laughing my ass off. Because you know, someone in Vegas is a multi billionaire. Oh, somebody <laughs> would be rich over that. That one bet. All right, now Monday night, New Orleans in Chicago. New Orleans is five and zero oh on the road in their last in the, on the season. No, they're. They're five and they're seven and two on the road in the season. Yeah, and they lost how many games at home? Uh, probably about every one of them. But they're on I mean, the road amazing. in amazing. Chicago. <laughs> I, I'm uh, I'm taking the Bears.